What's up? What's up, good people? So this is a quick little uh, reach out to you guys who are sitting on the sidelines for buying. I want to reach out to you because as your realtor, I, I, I look at the market. I like to see what's going on. But the big topic and the big conversation in real estate is all about mortgage rates because mortgage rates are doing two things. They're keeping sellers on the sideline and they're keeping buyers on the sideline. And if you followed real estate in the past three months, let's say since September, which is traditionally a low point for real estate sales because people are settled, they're getting to the holiday season, and it tends to decline. However, the other factor was the interest rates were up, but they have started making a, <clears throat> a little decline. So what's going to happen? This is, again, we don't have a crystal ball, but these are the predictions based on human behavior, right? So don't listen to the big news media outlets. They don't tell you what's going on. That's all scare tactics. The truth you're getting here is this. We are going into an election year, right? Mortgage, housing prices, mortgage rates are the talk of many, many politicians. And so those that want to be reelected want to look good and they will do what they can to help stimulate the economy right before voting um, so that they can say, hey, look, we have we, we create low interest rates. Never mind what happened before. So. How do we take that into your advantage? Well, this is what's going to happen. Interest rates are going to start creeping down, downwards, starting in the – well, they've already crept down a little bit. Um, so what does that mean? It means that once they start creeping down, two things in the mind are going to happen. Buyers are going to be like, okay, I'm going to take care of this because at least it's not 8%. Sellers who have are like, I don't want to give up my 2 to 3% mortgage for a, an 8% because they I have nowhere to go. They're going to be like, all right. Six, maybe high fives is way better than an 8% mortgage. So they're going to jump back in. And all of a sudden, you're going to have the feeding frenzy. And it's going to, as we say, we call it a bloodbath because everyone's going to be feeding on, looking for houses, wanting to sell. And here's what the problem is. Multi-offers. Multiple offers on homes. So, which is good if you're a seller, not so good if you're a buyer. Um, and so as a buyer, and even now if you're selling to buying, here's what you want to consider. If you purchase now and maybe stretch yourself a little bit financially and only you know what's good for you, if you stretch yourself now, what will happen is when the rates drop, you can refinance out for that new lower rate. But the good news is you're not going to be in the feeding frenzy. Maybe you have to move. Maybe you have to get out of your house. Um, you, maybe you're, you're in, in an apartment and your lease is due. So a lot of those are like, hey, we suck it up. We got to do it. But my – you know what's best for you and your family, but my suggestion is this, is avoid the feeding frenzy, right? That creates a lot of unneeded stress. So you're actually kind of paying for peace of mind. The way I look at it is I'm like, you're paying for peace of mind, knowing you're in the property you want, rather than having the stress of going, oh my gosh, okay, we got, we got a price, but now everybody wants that price. So if you lock in your home now, here's what you can do. You can, you have your home, you just refinance lower. And when the rates start dropping, you just take advantage of that without the, the added psychological, emotional duress that comes with moving and being against multiple offers. All right, my friend, this is uh, real estate is about 99% psychology. Why? Because you got to decide what's good for you and your family, what kind, what you can handle. I will navigate you through the process, right? We've been, I've got a couple more homes coming up on the market that we're listing. Um, but the bottom line is this. It's a process, and it's more than just putting a sign on the uh, door or on the front lawn and saying, okay, your house is going to be sold. And it's more than just taking somebody and opening a door and letting them see a house. There's more that goes behind that, and you need somebody you can trust and somebody who knows the process. So, my friends, that's the information today. Interest rates are creeping down. Do you want to be a part of the feeding frenzy, or do you want to be stretch yourself just a little bit? but have the mental security knowing that you're in the home you love and then refinance later. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, by the way, when you get the home you want, you are winner, winner, chicken dinner. I, I'm going to vote. I'll tell you what I'm going to vote for. I'm going to say get in the home now, peace of mind, refi later. That's my professional opinion. However, you do what's right for you and your family. Either way, call me. Tell your friends and your family you have a trusted realtor out there. Give them my name. Give them my number. I'm happy to help you guys. All right, peace out. Peace and love. And a happy house selling and buying. Right there.